So it looks like the drama behind the scenes at Below Deck is far from over. Raina Lindsay is speaking out about the producers protecting Eddie and other cast members on the show. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, we reported to you several weeks ago about the incident that played Played out on camera between Raina and Heather using the N word on Below Deck. And then I also reported to you about Eddie doing an interview with Screen Rant, revealing that production were scrambling behind the scenes to handle the situation and that he feels that he received a bad edit on the show. Well, now, according to Raina, she's saying that. They're replacing Captain Lee with Eddie and production is also not handling the situation well. She also alludes that the reunion was only an hour. And if you know anything about these reality shows and the reunions, they could take all day. And I said to you before, it'll be interesting to see how they're going to handle this reunion, especially if Andy Cohen's the host, especially when talking about something so sensitive when it comes to racial issues on your shows. Bravo, we've been watching you. And that's part of the reason why I thought it was necessary to report on what Raina said on her social media. So she had a few different Instagram stories that she reported a few days ago on her Instagram. And she says this. Sunday, I'll be doing an interview that I'll answer every below deck question. I'll also be with all my folks. So y'all gonna have every black opinion in the room. Reunion was nothing and only lasted like an hour. I got y'all. She then says they didn't want nothing to be really exposed on the reunion. So I'll talk about how they want Eddie Lucas to do a takeover for Captain Lee. I'll talk about everything they don't want us to talk about. She also says that the executive producer, Laura, Lauren Sims, sat there and lied to Raina's face. She says this, Lauren Sims, the executive producer, sat there and lied to my face all season just so that she can save Eddie to ensure the Passover happens. I don't intend to hurt anyone's feelings, but if they but if if they feelings get hurt from me spitting the truth, then so be it. She also says, I want nothing to do with the show, but they but they smoking. Mm, OK, girl, if they think I'm not going to tell what really happened, I'm going to express my story. Then I'm done. I need to help and warn other minorities to not come on the show. I'd be dead ass wrong if I didn't. It should be noted, Captain Lee does address the whole conversation of Raina saying that the producers want to replace him with Eddie. He took to his social media this week and said this, no, it isn't. Well, according to Princess Daisy on Twitter, she says to, to Captain Lee, is, the, is your job on the line? Laughing out loud. Please do not ever have her return. Thanks. He replies to this and says, no, it isn't. But thanks for being concerned for me. I do appreciate that. Not to worry. So as you know, we've talked heavily about this conversation in, in regards to, first of all, Bravo and how they handle racial issues at the network. But we've also been telling you about how we heard, according to even even according to Eddie, that production just didn't know what to do with this situation. They did not handle the situation correctly. And I wouldn't be surprised if the, the reunion really was only an hour. Because as you already know, we know that the Roni reunion was canceled they said because they had to delay it because of an investigation by the time they were able to get everyone back together to do it no one would really care that is partially true but it was also an easy way for them not to address the issues of ramona singer and since the firing of jenny went from the real housewives of salt lake city so many people have been moving forward for ramona to be fired from the show a lot of people. I'm actually surprised because so many people have loved Ramona over the years, but they also understand that she's been problematic for many, many years. So, Bravo, you have a problem. And I'm here to remind you about that problem. And based on what Raina might be saying here, it seems as if you wanted to brush over this as well, or at least your production company that you have hired to film this show wanted to brush over this as well. You can't brush over this. I want to really see how this reunion plays out because it is an important issue that has played out throughout the season for you to brush over that. 
that's going to be unacceptable. And I would hate to have to stop to watch Below Deck altogether and Bravo altogether. As always, guys, I want to know your thoughts on what Raina had to say. What do you believe? Who do you think should have hosted the reunion? Because as I said to you before, especially when you're talking about a, 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 an issue of using the N-word or when you're talking about the black experience, you can't have Andy Cohen out there addressing it. He's not an expert. He has no experience in handling it. And based on what we've seen him do before, he's not able to do it. Guys, let's continue with the conversation below. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.